Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. Today, I'm going to be showcasing the difference between different types of walking sticks in Don't Starve Together as to which one's the best, and of course, you decide which one you like the most and take it from there. In Don't Starve Together, they recently added the walking stick, which can only be crafted by Woody as of yet, which I'm assuming is probably going to always be where that remains. I mean, I don't know. I don't think they'll ever make any specialty for that. Um, so yes, requiring you to use Lucy, three logs, and one charcoal, by far the least expensive way of traveling very fast and of course it does diminish over time as it's made of wood so it can't last forever giving you 15 percent speed boost and of course giving you 180 seconds of fuel time which that means obviously if you toss in a fire well guess what that fire is going to be nice and happy now easiest way to make them you can make a million of them because obviously wood and charcoal are very easy to come across now next up on the chopping list is your walking cane walking cane will give you none other than of course using it for 17 damage and then using it for 25 percent speed boost just a little bit 10 percent left less than using your walking stick next up on the actual list is of course the lazy explorer the lazy explorer gives you attack of 20 telepoof of 20 meaning the distance or the radius of which that i believe you can teleport to so there's the radius that you can see on the outside that's using the insight mod which you would not see on your screen and of course your your speed boost of 25%. Now, the bonus about this little dude is, of course, the Lazy Explorer can be used by teleporting around just like you would if you were playing as War Talks, except you hear a loud buzzing noise when using it. And when you're finally used all of these little things and it's down to basically 0%, well, guess what? I'm going to show you what happens here in three seconds. I love having it. Of course, it takes the cost of sanity loss when you teleport around. So just be careful when you decide to do that. And when it's at 0%, yes, it does poof away and disappear. So if you have one that is less than 10% or 50 15%, I highly recommend you not use it anymore because unfortunately there's not much left you can do, but you can deconstruct it to then reconstruct it again once you have the resources to do so. So there you go. There's the difference between three walking canes and or my walking sticks in Don't Starve Together. You choose which one's the easiest way, but I highly recommend sticking to probably just the walking cane if you can acquire it. Honestly, though, the walking stick is just enough to get you out of danger and pretty much just make it so your character is going to be easily able to survive. But unfortunately, not everybody plays as uh, Woody, so I can't really guarantee that you're going to have a walking stick in your world at all times. Anyways, those are the difference between each of them. You choose which one you like the most. The trouble is, you just have to go out there and find the resources. Stay tuned for more videos on future things on Don't Start Together. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.